up guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long time since I sat down and filmed a video for you guys but if you follow me on all my other socials which if you don't I'll put them right down below I've had a kind of a skin issue I woke up one day and found a ton of those little skin colored pimples all over my face and I had no idea why so I took a little bit of time off filming videos and applying makeup just to know what caused that and how could I treat it. I tried a couple of products and a couple of home remedies and the thing that worked well for me was coconut oil. I spent five days non-stop applying coconut oil all the day and before I slept I soaked my face with coconut oil and every day I woke up it felt, it felt better. These small mountains were starting to disappear. I'm still not sure what had happened to cause that breakout but I, do, but I do know that coconut oil helped. So if you're going through something similar, try out coconut oil, give it a try. It personally worked for me and I hope it would work for you too. So enough with the rambling. Today's video is very exciting for me because I'm partnering up with L'Oreal Makeup. I reached out to them and I asked them if they could collaborate with me in this video. I've been reading your comments and you guys wanted more available and affordable products to use. So I thought why not contact L'Oreal and ask them if they want to do this kind of video with me. And they were very nice over there. They welcomed the idea so much. And I went to their office, I picked out a couple of their products which I will be using in this video, will be all using L'Oreal products. And all these products are in Egypt, they're available in pharmacy, and I'll list down the prices as I go along. And so yeah, this is the look I created using only L'Oreal products, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to know how to get this look right here, then please keep on watching. So first I'll start with moisturizing with my current favorite, Jurgen's Shia Butter deep conditioning moisturizer. This is a very thick kind of moisturizer. I like to use it. I normally don't use thick moisturizers before my makeup. I usually save that for bedtime. But for this look, I feel like I'm going for a full coverage matte look. So, so I think it will do this time. got these two foundations right here. These are the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I've got Golden Beige 24 and Honey. So I'll go with Honey 30 and I think this is the darkest shade they have. Put a little bit at the back of my hand. I mean, it doesn't look that light on camera. It's my damp beauty blender. It is a little bit light, but we'll work it out with bronzer and contouring and all that good stuff. So this foundation says that it has a medium texture, it has a high coverage, and a matte finish. You smooth it onto the skin in circular motions for flawless coverage, and shake well before use. Well, here I have a couple of pimples. I'll use more in this area. It is full coverage though. I mean, sometimes I know if a foundation is full coverage or not if I bring it up here to my dark circles and it takes it away because I have really intense dark circles. I'll bring it down here a little bit because it is lighter. I also like to bring up the foundation to my eyelids because I know I'm not using an eye primer in this video. So I just like to cancel out any discoloration I have on my eyelids. I mean, this feels nice. It definitely has that kind of velvety finish, which I like. I'm not sure if I'll need to set this or not. Maybe just a little bit. But yeah, I like this. And this is my first time using this. I haven't used this before. And I really like it. So next I'm using their True Match Genius 4-in-1 kit. So this says that it has a primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. So this is the kind of product you throw in your makeup bag wherever you go. It's good for traveling, it's good for a night out. If you don't want to carry your whole makeup with you, you can just work with this. So it looks like this. It has a very creamy formula, and it's very smooth as well. When I was at the L'Oreal office and I snapped the product, 
A lot of you ask me how to use this because they got it abroad and they don't know how to use it. So I'll tell you how to use it. I'm using this as a concealer because I already have my foundation on. So it says that it smooths the skin surface like a primer, glides and unifies like a fluid foundation, covers imperfections like a concealer, and finishes like a natural matte powder. All right. I think I'm going to use my finger with this one. And I'll just like tap right here. Where I normally just add my concealer under my eyes to cover those dark circles I'm blessed with. And I'll blend it in with my finger. Sometimes it's better to blend with your finger because the warmth in your finger blends the concealer better. All right. Okay. So it definitely did brighten my under eye. Did you see the difference? I'm not sure if it's showing on camera, but there's a big difference in real life. I've got concealer done. I'll cover up any blemishes I have with this. So since I'm going for a matte look, I'm going to use the infallible the infallible powders. I've got two shades. This one is in warm sand and this one is in beige. I think I'll be using beige under my eyes and where the areas I want to highlight and warm sand on the rest of my face. I'm going to use a flat a flat a flat kabuki brush like this one. And I'm taking beige under my eyes. taking warm sand and with the same brush I just set the rest of my face a pencil on, on one side and a spoolie on the other side and so it's very practical And how I like to use this pencil is I like to warm it a little bit on the back of my hand before I use it, before I use it on my brows. Warm the wax and the pigmentation on the pencil before I apply it to my brows. And then I start with the bottom. I just work it into my brows until I feel like I have the intensity I want. Alright, so now I'm done with both my brows. And now I'm going to contour. And this this product is the product that I'm most excited about to try and to tell you guys how I think about it. It's the Infallible Sculpt Contouring Highlight and Contour Palette in medium dark. And this one is so cool. I'll show you. I'll just open it because it's new. Brand, brand new. Alright. Okay, so it looks like this. It has the highlighting part and the contouring part. And the best thing about this product is that it's a cream product. Like, it's a cream product. But when you put it on your hand, it dries out like a powder. It is powder, it's, so it's a powder on my hand. So you can use it before you apply your powder and set your whole face or after, it doesn't matter. And today, I'll be applying it with, with my hand. So I'll take a little bit of the contour here on my hand and just dot it where I want to contour and just press it in very lightly. And just blend it out with my finger. The first time I use products, I usually like to use my fingers. I'm not sure why. 
but I feel like I get a better understanding of the product when I use my fingers and as opposed to using a beauty blender or a brush. Because I like, I feel the product, I know it's finished, I know how it blends. I like to test out products with my fingers first. I had very high expectations to the product, to this product, and it really met them. I'm so excited for this one. Now I'm moving on to blush, and you guys know I'm not a big fan of blush, but you know sometimes you gotta do it. And this one is the color 105. It's from the Le Blush, Le Blush, Le Blush. I'm just taking a, a very small amount and just patting that in. Just a little something, something. It's covering something when I'm in love with your body. Okay, so now we're moving on to the eyes. And I'll be using the La Palette Nude, the rose edition. I have the bronze edition and I used it in a couple I used it in a couple of my videos before. So I thought I'd just use this one this time to show you guys something different. So this is what the palette looks like and it comes with this decent brush right here. So it has all these pink, mauvey, brown tones, which I think is perfect for a lot of occasions. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for today, but I'll start with taking this color right here. It's kind of a medium neutral brown. And I'll take it on my Morphe M433 brush. I'll just put that right in my crease. And then with a smaller blending brush, I'll take this rosy mauve shade right here. And I'll put that in the lower part of my crease. I feel like there's no difference on camera, so I'll go with this color instead. This is the darkest purple shade in the palette. Just take a little bit of that and pop it in the lower part of my face. Yeah, that showed up. <laughs> All right. I really like this color. It's like a very dark plum shade. And the best thing about these eyeshadows is that you can build the intensity of the color to your liking and there's not so much fallout as well which is great I like where this is going just going to intensify a little bit right here and the inner and I'm leaving the middle part blank because I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer in there so I don't want the pigments to be mixed together I want the shimmery eyeshadow in the middle to, to have a little bit of a pop. This Real Technique Detailer Brush, I'm going to take this, this pinky shimmery shade right here. It's very light and shimmery, and I'll be very generous with this shade. I'm really taking a lot on my brush, and I'm packing that in the center of my lid. And then blend out the edges. I like this look. I'm into it. And then with the same shade, I'll highlight my brow bone. A little bit on my inner corners. And now it's time for eyeliner. So today I'm using the Super Liner Extra Black Gloss Eyeliner. And it comes in a packaging like this. It has this kind of brush. It's very matte, very pigmented. 
we're going to do this. Alright, I had to go off camera to do the swing because I was getting out of frame and it was messy. So you could tell I kind of played it safe with a very small wing. I feel like the wing suits this look. So now I'm moving on to mascara. And they gave me these two mascaras right here. I personally own both of them but I've run out of them. I think I'll be using this one today because I feel like this is the more popular kind of mascara. I'll curl my lashes first. I forgot how much I love this mascara. I'm so happy I have it back. It's the kind of mascara that that really gives your lashes a lot of volume and length at the same time, but doesn't make them clumpy. I love this. All right, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to use the brush that came with the palette, and I'm going to use this dark mauve shade that we used on our lower crease. And I'll run that down here. So I'll be focusing this color more on the outer third of my eye. I'll take the first color we used in our crease. I'll smoke out the purple and bring it a little bit right here. So yeah, this eye is done. I'll go off camera, I'll do the other eye and I'll come back. So I did both my eyes and now the final and last step is lipstick and today I'm using the Color Riche Matte 430 Mon Joule. It's this shade right here. It's a very bold kind of lip because I felt like the eyes are very simple and toned down so I want a more vibrant lip. So I'm using this one right here. So yeah, this is the finished look. I know the lipstick is a little bit too bold for some of you, but I kind of like it. I like this. I like the cherry tones with a little bit of a toned down, smoky purple eye. You can definitely switch out the lip with a more pinky nude kind of lip or a brown neutral lip. This is the look I would personally go for. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I really had fun filming it for you and trying out new products and telling you how I feel about them. So yeah, if you like this look, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Bye!